The Run for Women has been around now for 27 years, uh, started in 1993. We are one of the largest all-women's races in the country, and Chevron has been a sponsor for the past 15 years. So when we started this uh, partnership, we basically would make straight donations to the Alaska Run for Women. But as we did it for a few years, we said, how can we make it better? How can we partner, the, connect the retail outlets to the event? And if we can get the community involved, we'll probably generate more funding beyond what we do. And then we will also build greater awareness. And that's exactly what's happened. So what we do today is we bring water to the event, bottles of water, which we distribute at the event. And then after the event, um, through the end of October, so through October 31st, we sell water in our retail outlets, which the public can purchase, and it generates additional funding, around $17,000 per year. And it's really, it's having an impact. The net income from the race was over $200,000. And then we turn that around and give out grants for prevention, awareness, and research for breast cancer. There is a requirement uh, in our grant guidelines that a certain amount must stay in the state of Alaska. The Denali Express Chevron Network, it's a locally owned company, it's locally operated. All the employees that work here live in Alaska. This is not a corporate thing that's ran from outside of Alaska. So any of the funding that's generated from these programs, we mandate that it stays here. We want it to go to our friends, families that live here, neighbors, I mean everyone who's in this town needs the money. Our corporate sponsors are vital to the success of this run um, in cash money, ever in kind, um, and just support in general. And Chevron is certainly a major sponsor of the run and we are very appreciative of that, but we could not do the work we're doing without that sponsorship.